What's up everybody? Welcome back to Satisfactory. It's been, I think, two or three days since I've recorded the last video, and in that time, I've made not very much progress because I've been working, but I've made a little bit of progress. I've done a couple more upgrades on the hub, and we have a load of inventory slots now. However, the main thing... I have a freaking chainsaw. Which is amazing for farming all of these trees you see dotted around. And it uses the biofuel as power. So this area was previously surrounded by trees. And let me... Let's just quickly do that. Right, let's go and take a look at the... Uh, mm, that gets me every single time. Whew. Right, so I've got a rudimentary setup here for making the biofuel. So I stick all of my... Ah, I've run out of the... Hmm, what is that? Soft, I've run out of biomass. So what I do is biomass in here gets pumped into this where it is made into biofuel and then is pumped out into that top one there where it turns... where yeah, storing all the biofuel. So what I need to do is get the get another constructor pumping just the normal biomass into here so it can get a nice constant supply but for that I am going to need what is it I'm going to need a constructor we need three reinforced iron plates that's fine I have got all of these bits kind of I should should be able to make some at least. What do I need? Nails and iron plates. Can I make screws? I can. So 24, 48, yeah, there we go. Reinforced iron plate, there we go. Perfect. Right, let's make a constructor. So we want to have the inside of it. Wait, no, we want to pump out from here. Uh, there we go, we'll pump out from there. So we go three, convey that to there. And we need a storage container for the inside of it. So can we, oh we got our personal storage, of course we do. Can we snap a storage container to the top of this? No. But we can put one up there. Now that's going to be really difficult to do. That's going to make it such a pain. Can we build things on top of our hub? No, it doesn't look like we can. I guess we'll stick it next to it here. So I want it to be the other way around so we can pump it out this side. There. And then we connect that to there. Perfect. And then in here we will fill this with wood. Perfect. Oop. That's just all going to pump it straight into there. And we're going to tell this to make biomass out of wood. Now, unfortunately, we're going to need two constructors. One for making it from wood and another one. Oh, hang on. Will you break everything if I power you? Hmm. You powered? Yes, I believe you are. There we go, that is now making biomass for us. Biomass pumps into here. Let's watch it happen. I'm really excited for this. And there we go, biomass is getting pumped in and straight out again. It then gets pumped into this constructor. Oh, you know what, I just realized I could completely skip out this storage one and just have the fuel being, the biomass being pumped straight from that constructor into this one. Hmm. Then I would only need one storage box there in the middle. Hmm. That's worth considering doing it like that. Nah, whatever. We'll just leave it. I'm happy with it. So here, we just fill this with wood. Now, I'm sure you'll want to see how amazingly powerful this lovely chainsaw is. Hmm. Have I got fuel on me? Yes, I do. Right, so I have... Ooh, okay. This is not bringing in any more concrete for us. Limestone. So that should be going into this one. That's empty. 
that's very low. And how much concrete have we got? We've got quite a bit of concrete though. Okay. Now, I have noticed that my second copper mine has shut down, so I'm going to need to probably go and repower them. And there should be some trees over there to chop down. Not going near those ones because there's the ravine near there. And if I fall in it, I would die and lose all of my stuff again. So what I tend to do is just go AFK, sit on here. And then the conveyor just spits me out this side. Boom. Right, so let's take a look. Yeah, no fuel in the biofuel generator there. So that should get going again. Are we going to get some more? Okay, it needs to actually... I like how when it runs out of power, it lifts itself all the way up again. All right, you're going to start making some more copper for us? There we go. Perfect. Right, so chainsaw in action. Boom, and look at that, that gave us 11 wood, which isn't that much, but we can chop down the massive trees as well, which gives you, yeah, 89, and this just makes getting all the biofuel and everything so much easier, because you don't have to just run around looking for those tiny little bushes for an hour. I wish I had made this upgrade a lot sooner, it's so nice. Just boom, tree gone. What I haven't tested is if I can use this on the little ravager dog things that attack you, which I might might be worth looking into. Hmm. However, I am sure there are some other upgrades that we could do of getting sorted. Primarily, I think I need to sort out my power generation system. So what I might do is, hey, my copper's already on quite far. And let's take this out of my hands. There we go. So what I might do is actually see if I can build a bunch of foundations and make a proper power farm. Get all of my generators stuck in one place together with their wiring spreading out to cover the area. Just so when I run out of power somewhere I don't have to run to every single generator I've got dotted around to try and work out what's losing the power from where. For example, my limestone quarry, I believe, is also powering the jump pads to get up to my base. So at the moment, I can't get up there. Hmm. That is a little bit of an issue. It might be powered. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, I can't get up to my base at the moment because my limestone farm has no power at the moment. And I need to get another second. Need to get another second? I need to get a second iron miner working. We need a portable miner and some iron rods for that. I think I should actually have a portable miner. Ah, let's make a few iron rods quickly. There we go. Miner. And we will have that spitting out that way. Oh, and you know what? I can actually... can't afford. Okay, so I should have the conveyor merger, there we go, merges three conveyor belts into one. So can I... Hmm. Alright, if I stick that there, and then I go demolish that, that's fine. Hmm. No iron plates. Need iron plates. I've got an absolute ton of them somewhere. Oh yeah, of course, they're in my iron plate storage. Where else would they be? And have I got cables so I can power it in afterwards? No, let's get get a couple of cables. Perfect. Right, so we also want to go like that. And then connect power to you. To not there, not there, not there spare line on there? There is. But that is the one powered from down here and there's no power. You see this is a complete disaster. I need to get this sorted but I want to get a bit more iron production up and running first. 
So let's throw that in. I think I've tripped it out. I have. Okay, let me... Oh yeah, I'll disconnect that one. There we go. Okay, so I currently have no limestone being produced, but I should have enough concrete for the moment anyway to do what I want to do, because I think it's just nine concrete per foundation. So I think what I'm going to do is turn this area here to my power f power farm. So we want to go foundations. Let's go for the slightly smaller ones. And I think I'm like this. Let's try and line them up a bit better. There we go. Oh, this is going to be really... Okay, yeah, this is going to be a pain to build. Am I able to drag it onto my hotbar? No, I can't. Oh, drag to hotbar. So if I click five on it, oh, four. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Right. There we go. Let's put that one there. 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 We have started pretty much industrialising the landscape now. How big is a biomass burner? Okay, a biomass burner will take up one foundation entirely. So I would like to have, I think in one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Hmm. Can I extend further to one of these sides? Yes, I can go one more this side. Let's place it like that. And then I'm actually going to demolish these ones. Perfect. Right, so we want to have one, two, three, four, five biomass burners. What do I need for them? You know what? How about I dismantle some of the odd ones I've got dotted around? Have I got odd ones dotted around? I don't think I do, really. I mean, there's some... There's one down there, there's two there, I think one all the way over there, yeah, okay, so I haven't actually got that many, ooh, and that one is out of fuel, okay, ooh, why are you not pumping out no power, ah, because it's out of fuel, okay, yep, that would make sense, there we go, let's grab 194 of that, throw that into there. Perfect. Back to making fuel. Right, I want to take a quick look. Ah, okay. Need to connect the conveyor belt. Right. Let's go like that. No wonder my iron production's not working. There we go. That's better. And boom, we're up to what, I think 60 per... There are 120 per minute on the iron production. Yeah, look at that. That's much nicer. Perfect. So that's going to start coming all the way around. Right then. I need to make myself biomass burners. Rods, plates, wires. Okie dokie. Let's just get a bunch of these. I'll get the plates from my iron plate storage. And wire, let's get a ton of these as well. I am planning on getting these all fully automated so that I've got wires being made for me, ingots, rods, and everything being made. That should be way more than enough. Hey, we've got power back to that again. Good. Wait, is there a biomass burner here? No. Okay. All right, let's grab some plates. Oh, it's so nice having this much storage space. I think it originally we just had those top two rows. So much nicer now. Definitely better. And I am even recording. I forgot to record an entire episode of Westland the other day. Right then. Biomass burner. Not encroaching another store space. Good. Let's have you... Like that. Are you overlapping at the back? No. Oh, that could actually go back a little bit further. Okay. Thinking there. And there. 
equipment there. And now I'm out of resources. Iron rods. For that I need ingots. Oh, but I stopped my iron plate and rod production. So I should have a ton of iron ingots stored up. Might be some in there. Nah. Have I got... Oh, I've got a little bit of iron ore on me for some reason. Not sure why. Hmm. This game is honestly so satisfying to do. My factory is a giant heap of junk at the moment, and I am aware of that. I apologise to everybody who has some form of condition that means they want it to look good. I'm sure there's multiple, not just OCD. OCPD or something like that. Whatever. Rings a bell. Probably completely wrong. Apologies if I insulted some condition that any of you have. Right, and that should be enough. Look at that. So we're going to have five of these biomass burners here, all with their own separate configurations for what they're powering. There we go. Is it there? I think it is. Yeah, excellent. Right, and then we're going to have a power pole in the center of each one opposite it. Good enough. And then you can get plumbed in to there, you to there, you to there, that to there, and that one to there. Perfect. I really wish you could pump stuff straight into these, but it's still going to make it a lot easier. Right then. I have unlocked a... where are we looking? No, it's not an organisation. It is in the crafting bench terminal thing somewhere. I might actually stop using those two there completely. They're quite useful though, so I might not. Where is it? Object scanner, portable miner... Um, I swear... Did I not save it? Tier 2, part assembly, walkways, colour gun, oh, okay, haven't actually finished it, I am making this colour gun, so with this we're going to be able to paint our different things, so we're going to be able to hopefully paint our cables and everything so we know what is going where, I'll get all of these parts made up and be back in a moment. And there we have it, let's launch the pod, colour gun, ready for launch, colour gun, milestone unlocked, goodbye pod. New equipment, new plants. Is robot going to talk to us? No, okay. Right, what is the colour gun going to cost us? Some nails and... Oh, hang on, what was that? Uh, right mouse button, add to to-do list. Uh, right mouse button, add to to-do list. There we go. So we need a bunch of screws. We cannot make enough. No, we don't. Okay, that's ah, so fine. We've got everything we need for them. Actually, you know, we have got absolutely everything we need. There we go, and we just need a few more of these. Perfect. Beautiful. Right then, let's make ourselves a colour gun. That actually takes a little while to craft. And let's make some colour cartridges as well, which we make from flower petals. Oh wow, we make 50 at a time. How much do they stack to? Okay, they only stack to 100. Let's not make too many. Paint gun. Uh, there we go. It is loaded. Now, how do I cycle through the different colours? Ah, oh, there we go. Colour picker. Let's see if we can go... Ah, okay, that's how it works. So... We'll paint the building to look like that. Right, let's get one of these set up for copper. Let's get the one second from the end, because one for limestone will go down there. Let's colour this biofuel generator. Okay, that was pathetic. <laughs> Did not colour it that much, but okay, that'll do. Um, iron is going to be this one here. So let's have this a nice... Let's turn this one blue. Oh, that is still orange. 
Select color. There we go. All right. I was thinking it would color it a little bit more than that. I'm not going to lie. Tad disappointed. Ah, and they're orange by default, actually. Oops. Did not mean to scan. Um, you can be yellowy green. This one can be a another shade of yellowy green. And you can be black. Beautiful. Right then. Can't connect more lines to this connection. Oh, I can't. However, I can bring that down there. There we go. Oh, forgot I ripped up the miner from here. Let's destroy that biomass generator. Do not need that anymore. Now, minor, 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 minor mark one. Can I get it to snap? No, I can't. Damn. Gonna have to just replace that. Uh, mark one, minor. There we go. There we go. And then we use our lovely power there to do that. Oh, yeah, it's not actually powered yet. That would make sense. Okay. Right, I think what I'm going to do is go around and destroy all of these random power poles because I would like to get my storage and everything. Not storage. I'd like to get all of my production a bit organized. So I'll beat you back in a second. Alright everybody, I'm back, and I am pretty happy with my power station. So if you take a quick look at it, I've got this one here, powering my iron mines and the jump pads to get up to the top. That base is hideously ugly, I'm going to need to do something about that. Might make the bottom foundations thinner ones like these. So that's powering the iron mines. This one here is powering my biofuel generator and the iron smelter. This one here is powering constructors. This one here has got my copper mine up there, I think. Actually, hmm. this one here isn't connected to anything. It's a spare power line at the moment. I'm actually going to take the fuel. Actually, no, no, no. No, it's not. That is powering. That's powering a constructor at the far end. And I think it's powering concrete production. And then this one here is plumbed into my copper farm over there and to the 
limestone production down there. That's pretty dark, so I apologize. There we go. Everything is powered. I am really happy with this. It's still going to need to be all moved around. Oh yeah, so I've got my iron conveyor belts being merged into here. I believe I was actually talking and showing you when I did that. I've got my biomass back to being produced. So all goes into here, goes into there, and up into there, which is what I did at the start of the video. And I believe that is, yeah, that's running low on wood. That's, um, all right, the wood goes in here. I believe, is that correct? Yeah, so the wood gets pumped out of there, into there, round there, round there, and up into there. Next up, I have got my one single iron smelter, my single copper smelter. Now, how these work, what you will have seen me do, I have connect made a conveyor splitter here. So I've got two mines going into this one smelter, and they are sending the iron ingots up this way and into a storage box here, where I've got 85 of them now. And I have also got a set of them going into here, where they're being taken out of here, going through there, and turning into plates. Ta-da! And then... Hmm. Oh, I never powered this one up again. Uh, let's put power on you. You gonna work? Powered? Have I just tripped out the whole system? No? Are these all completely full? That's completely full. And that's completely full. Okay, need a little bit more storage for the copper here. Right, um... Storage box, storage container. Can't afford, need iron rods. Right. Well, I guess I'll do that off camera. There's... Oh, I think there's one thing that we're left to do. Space elevator. That is going to take us quite a while and a lot of resources. Oh yeah, I painted my pub hub purple. I did not paint my pub purple. I'm not allowed to paint the pub. I would get told off if I did that. Ooh, I like it in here. Okay, so I believe, yeah, we've got part assembly. Assembler. This is going to be used for making things like the reinforced iron plates. But we've also got a rotor and a modular frame, which I think for this you have to make a modular frame and, and a rotor and combine them all to make the assembler. Now we've got the walkway pieces there and we've also got conveyor walls to do. All of this is before we can start working on the next phase of upgrades. Now I have seen somewhere that apparently we get a little van truck thing later on which I want to try and work towards. So what I think I'm going to do is get these bits completed now and see what happens when we unlock the next section. I doubt we'll be able to get all of this done because I have got to go in like 15 minutes. Ooh, I've got to go in 15 minutes. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to end off the video here instead. Apologies that this one is not probably a 40 minute long video, but I hope it's still good enough for you as it is. So thank you for watching everybody. Hope you have all enjoyed Satisfactory as much as I have. Wow, we've already gone for 110 paint cans. Okay. Alright, thanks a lot you people. Goodbye. Ooh, there's that thing up there. I wonder, will it let me paint this space whale? No, it won't. Okay. What can we paint? Let's just... I don't want to make everything purple. You're for making biofuel. You should be... S stop doing that. You should be a nice green colour. I would like you to be darker green, if I'm honest. So everything for this will be that colour. Beautiful. Oh, I accidentally jumped in the jelly. <gasps> Can I change the colour of the jelly? No, I cannot. Oh, that would be so cool if you could. Right, let's go visit the top base. Oh, would probably help if I connected this. Can't afford player is in the way. Can't afford. Damn. I need a single wire. I forgot. Oh, de Ooh. Rookie mistakes. Rookie mistakes. Let's get. There we go. How about we actually connect? 
Oh, have I just tripped everything out? Yep, I've put too much on the one system. Okay. Damn. I was trying to end off the video here, game. Do you mind? So, connect that one. Connect that one. And you know what? That can probably go to... Um, that one there. Please don't blow anything up or stop anything working. Is my copper one still working? It should be. Hmm. I think it is. Unless I've just killed a generator somewhere. I don't think I have to. Nah, they're all still powered. Perfect. Didn't break it. Success. Ooh, and it's morning. You know what? Because it's morning, we're going to get a nice view of the... Oh. Should probably connect that back to there. There we go. It's morning. Let's get a nice view of the sunrise from the top of the walkway. Not the walkway, the watchtower. It'd be really cool if you could place watchtowers on top of each other. Have the ultimate watchtower. Up we go, up we go, up we go. And let's end the video like we started it. Up here, having a look around at our beautiful surroundings. And oh, that is a nice purple forest over there. That might be worth going to investigate at some point. Hmm. Oh yeah, I never actually got around to sorting out the copper production there. Oh well, we have an absolute ton of copper. We've got four entire storage containers of it. And we have not even one of iron, which is a shame because we use a lot more iron. But, thank you for watching people. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.